they've got to test the bullet bounce. So the tow car is hooked up. Almost time to put the gun in. Gun in! With the gun loaded, Adam's feeling optimistic. Gun is hot. Every step of this story, I've been wrong about my intuition. At the beginning, I thought from a physics standpoint, it was quite a stretch. I didn't think bullets would skip off the ground at any significant angle or significant speed, but it turns out both are plausible. Now that we've got all this set up, I have to admit to feelings of true optimism. I feel like we're gonna get a successful hit on this one. <laughs> we are literally on the highway to the danger zone. Okay, taking off in three, two, one. As they ride into the danger zone, Jamie guns the car to car chase speed. 45. And then it's over to Adam for a barrage of bouncing bullets. All right, firing. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, stop. <laughs> Woohoo! That seemed to work beautifully, dude. Five bullets bounced, but did any make that mythical target? Interior inspection. The interior is clean. No penetration. No, not that I can see. Inside the cab, there's no sign of penetration. And a look underneath reveals why. Look, I can see four of the bullets. They just bounced into the swing arm on their way to find the firewall. It's in the way. Close, but no cigar. Huh? Exactly. A close shot. But although the bullets bounced, there was just too much car in the line of fire. But the Mythbusters have come too far to give up after only one run. So they reset. Excellent. Three, two, one, go. And unleash another five bullets. Firing. One, two, three, four, five. But once again, they're floored by the floor. It definitely didn't come through this piece of cardboard. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. After everything that we've learned so far, this seems so within our grasp, so plausible-like. But it just turns out that there is too much crap underneath this car that is in the bullet's way on its trajectory towards the firewall. And this is the exact same make and model of car that's in the clip we're testing. Yep, the gun, the car, it all matches. But even though firing point blank at the bottom of the car might work. Looked like an almost perfect hit. In reality, a Four, bouncing bullet five. just doesn't have a clear path through to the wheel well. Look, in the clip, the guy says this is a reliable technique. You can shoot at the pavement in front of the car and it'll ricochet up into it. It's anything but that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> 